Hello and welcome to Darnell Shoemaker Art. Today's video is part one in a collab with Pour Me Another One from Duger Art, DZ Art Co. Um, Doug's information is going to be down in the description. He has an Instagram account and also um, a YouTube account, so you can reach him either way. Um, I will be finishing up this video and then shipping the flower pot off to him for him to do some embellishment with. I cannot wait to see what he comes up with. Um, here I'm doing a puddle pour on top. I've got uh, Prussian blue and then ice blue and iridescent medium. And then um, this right here. And then the next color was a light blue permanent um, before the iridescent medium actually. So get it straightened back up. It was a little um, unlevel. And trying to get uh, same coverage on both sides. Let's switch the angle here so you can see what it looks like when it's coming over the side. It's going to keep doing the puddle pour until I have enough paint. And then I will be breaking out the blow dryer. So this is a little different for me. I don't usually talk in my videos. I usually have my music going, and that's one of the main reasons I don't talk. I could add music later, um, and I have in some of my videos. All right, so we're getting a little bit more paint on here, and then getting close to, um, oh, love that part, getting the blow dryer out. Here we go. And one of those, um, there at the very end, I did add some white that had some silicone in it. So we're going to get some cell action going. And with a blow dryer, you get a lot of little baby cells. And I do like that look as well. What I don't like is where it gets kind of muted sometimes. The colors um, aren't quite as vibrant with the blow dryer. It's like a fine line. It looks good, and then it doesn't. So you have to be real careful how much you um, use the blow dryer. So like that area right there where the turquoise is I just think it's all blended together but um as i turn it around you'll see um where the white is and we've got some contrast there i like that side so i'm just letting this set touching up the sides here um it will run down and that probably wouldn't even show there at the end but i just wanted to um, get some blending done in the beginning So Doug and I started um, emailing back and forth about the collaboration and I got to know Doug better and um, we have formed such a great friendship and I want to thank him for helping me out of my comfort zone and um, I'm a bit shy so um, I shy away from um, putting myself out there so thank you to him for that and It'll be so interesting to see what he comes up with. He has such a creative mind. I just can't imagine what he can um, embellish to the to the flower pot. Um, I yeah, it just blows my mind. So I'm pretty excited to see what he can do. Um, if you haven't checked out Doug's channel, you should. Um, he is a very kind man, and his voice is so soothing and. Um, He's a lot of fun. He comes up with great ideas. Um, he messes with his um, pouring medium um, to obtain the consistency that he's looking for and cells. And um, now he's trying his hand with resin and resin molds. So, so I just want to encourage you to check out his channel. Um, he's called Pour Me Another One Duggar Art on YouTube. And then Instagram, it's Duggar.art and um, also DZ Art Co. And I'll be putting all that stuff in the description. So it, I had decided that it looked a little too muted and I wanted to add um, some more contrast and dimension. So I'm gonna start layering some colors along the top. Um, I did this uh, method in another video. It was um, the one I gave my mother for Mother's Day. It was also blue and white. And layering it on the top after you've already done a base coat with the blow dryer, that'd be basically your base coat then at this point, um, it makes some amazing effects. And so 
gives it a layered look and it makes it look almost 3D. So we're going to do um, that here and just start adding some colors um, as I see fit and I'm going to stop talking and just fast forward this and let you see the transformation. Um, when I, this painting of this flower pot is complete, I'm going to ship this off to Doug and then he's going to do his thing. So you'll see his video as well. So thanks for watching and um, stay tuned to the end. Bye. So hey everybody, so as you saw in the first part of the video, me and Darnell have decided to do a collaboration together. Uh, she has sent me her flower pot from the first part um, that she showed you doing that. I'm going to have to tell you, I, I've already opened the pot so there's no unboxing the pot, but I do have the pot here. And... I'm just going to tell you how gorgeous this pot is. Um, I really admired Darnell for doing something totally unique with these pots and pouring paint on them. Um, I, I, I loved every one of them that she did, and she did quite a few of them, but um, she finished it off on the inside. So perfect. Um, the bottom she covered with a coaster, and I have it in the other room, but... This pot is just fabulous, so the pressure is on, Darnell. <laughs> I feel a little pressure to not ruin something beautiful, but have enough confidence in my um, what I want to do for you uh, on this pot to give you to give back to you. This pot is going back to Darnell. Um, it's just too beautiful. I think at some point we're just going to exchange artwork, Darnell. I think that would be a great idea. Just to exchange some paintings or something. But this pot, there's not a bad side on it. So we're going to embellish it. We're going to embellish this with some resin mold items. And you'll see at the end how it comes out. Um, <clears throat> had a quick conversation with Darnell in email about... Uh, a little bit of um, a theme so um, she doesn't know really what I'm going to do on here totally and completely so we're hoping that some of it is a surprise so we're going to put together some items it's going to be fast forward forwarded and then at the very end you'll see how well it comes together so let's get to it we're going to start with some resin molds Pour all our resin mold items, let them cure for 12 hours, and then we're going to take those items and put them on this pot. And that's the most I'm going to tell you right now until it's all said and done. So here we go.
So y'all, yeah, back to Darnell's pot. It's been a little over uh, 12 hours and about 50 minutes since we poured the resin. And the colors we used on the heart was this, it's called C. Um, but it was a beautiful color. It did look like the C now has dried more uniform and matte because of the mold. And then for the angel wings, we did the white, which is just like a pearl white. Um, I've taken everything out of the molds. Now, to get this stuff to stick, it still needs to be sticky. It needs to be a little bit sticky, but um, cured enough that it will come out easily on its own, but sticky on the back. So, took out the wings. See, there's a lot of detail in these wings. Um, the heart. And some letters. So we're going to fix this to the pot. So since it's sticky, we're going to do the heart and wings first. Uh, like I said earlier, there's just really not uh, a great place that uh, to cover because this pot is so fantastic, y'all. Just look at it. I mean, it's so uniform and beautiful that I'm just going to... Find a spot and do it. <laughs> Literally, I'm going to choose a spot. So, put you down here. And we're going to just quickly put on the wings. And put them to the pot. And I'm going to stand to the side here while I do it. You can kind of see here. I'm going to bring them down just a little bit. See how I'm putting them on there? Kind of pushing it down. That sticky side down, so that will be good. Now, you can pick it up lightly and reposition it if you think that um, you don't quite have it in the right place. Like that. So I'm just eyeballing it here. Kind of see the wings a little bit. I'm going to put the other wing next to it. And then we're going to put the heart on top. Um... Uh, I think I want to bring it more over though to right there. You can just slowly pick this up. It's not really that, it's not stuck to it yet. We're going to have to cover it with something to get it to stick. So there's the wings. I'm take my heart here and because the wings are still sticky and the heart is still sticky, I'm just going to push down this heart. Now, what I'm doing is pushing in the bottom and over the top and then making sure my wings are on there good you can see we got a little bit of a gap but I can kind of close that down so there we have it we have that just need to make sure that it's on there good now that's all well and good and I think if you kind of left this like that it would be fine but what we're going to do, use some clean wrap. So I'm going to get my hands free here. And we're going to get this covered. I'm just quickly, though, going to look real quick. Since I kind of put that on uh, without looking. Just kind of looking in the camera a little bit. See if you could see. And I think you can. So, I'm going to take a little bit of saran wrap here. We're going to cover that up. Now, when you put your saran wrap on, make it as smooth over the heart as you can. Because um, it will sometimes leave little indents. So, we're just going to smooth that down. And that should be fine. going to take some more saran wrap and go around it and then connect it in the back so that it will stay nice and tight. I'm going to pick up the pot. I'm just going to connect it here on the bottom. Bring my saran wrap up. 
I don't think, sometimes when it's the right stickiness, which this was on the resin, I really don't think some of this is necessary. But we're going to do it because we do want it to stay. And I don't want to mess up such a beautiful piece of artwork from Darnell. And there we go. So we've got that part wrapped. So that's all well and good. What about our letters? Well, Darnell, I got to thinking um, in some conversations we had, and we changed, exchanged some stories a bit. And if you want to let your heart grow wings and fly, well, you just got to have a lot of faith. You got to have a lot of faith that um, you're not going to crash into the ground, that you're going to be lifted up. And that's, we kind of had this little conversation about uh, what it takes to have that a little bit and uh, things that can cause you to have renewed faith. So, I thought blue and white faith at the top. Because to let your heart soar, it just takes a little faith. So what I'm going to do, I can't really get this on here perfectly as I want to. Um, but we are doing the same thing. We're sticking it down to the pot and then we're going to cover it. So I'm going to do that. You may not see exactly, but I need to turn it around and make sure I have my lettering, uh, centered. So, so y'all, it's finally completed and done and I'm just tickled to death about the colors and kind of matching some of Darnell's, uh, wonderful colors that she put on here, the blue and white. Um, so, as you know, we did some resin letters, and, you know, Darnell, we can't, we can't let our heart grow wings and soar without a lot of faith. Um, we both know that. Um, over this past month, there have been some trials, there's been some hurdles, and I think we've flown right through them. All we needed was a little faith, right? So I think we have that. Um, the resin letters were fine. Now, uh, I did have some difficulty with the letters. Um, they were too cured in comparison to the wings and the heart at the time that I took them out of the mold. So they did not stick. Um, they're a little wonky and I think that's fine. Um, this says handmade to me. This says beautiful and um, taking that extra time to do something more three-dimensional in resin, I think, was a success. Um, always improvement on anything. You can improve on it. You can uh, look back at something and say, well, there's always something I wish I had done differently that I did not do because I didn't think of it at the time. Um, and that doesn't really matter here. The letters themselves. Now, they didn't stick, so what I did, I didn't want hot glue, and I didn't want a bunch of um, stuff oozing out the sides. I took this diamond glaze uh, here and put it on the back of them, and then I wrapped the plastic saran wrap back on top of it, propped it up, you know, somewhat level, and let that cure overnight, just like I would any kind of resin stuff. And they are on there really good. And then I took Liquitex gloss, medium, and I went over the ladders, the wings. You can see the shine there um, and on the heart. Um, overall, I think this is just beautiful how this turned out. And you can just imagine, you know, it's sitting there. It has some style to it. Uh, the letters were a little bit mixed up in the colors. It's supposed to be more of the blue coming through, but, you know, hey, I don't think it's bad at all. And it's got lots of shine and gloss on it. So overall, Darnell, <laughs> the pot is coming back to you. And I hope you enjoy it and keep it um, as a memory of what we did together. It's fantastic. Darnell, love you to pieces. Um, keep up that wonderful, great artwork. I look forward to seeing more of your videos. Y'all check out her other videos. Um, they're just, she just has a style. Darnell has her own style that's fantastic. Um, these flower pots prove that. So, I've enjoyed it very much.
Thank y'all for looking at our collab oration. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Collaboration and what this pot became um, from Darnell to me and back to Darnell. A lot of faith. A lot of faith during the process. All you got to do is have confidence, have a lot of faith, and then you can just grow wings and fly. Love you to pieces, Darnell. It was fun. Y'all, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to Darnell's channel. She'll be bringing you more fantastic things, I'm pretty sure. All right, dug her out. Good morning, everyone. This is Darnell from Shoemaker Art, and my mom's visiting. <laughs> Say hello, Mom. Hi, everybody. So here I have um, a package from Doug from mm. um, Pour Me Another One Duggar. Okay. And we have been um, putting together a collaboration. Oh, on a flower pot, have you too? Yeah, on a flower pot. And um, so I have um, did something to the flower pot, sent it off to him, and then he is now sending it back, and I have not seen it. Um, look at this. We got a little bit of uh, damage. I, don't know. I know you are super close to the box. I apologize for that. You see that, Mom? Yep. Uh, it was damaged. The box got beat up, Mom. So hopefully inside everything is good to go. We're just going to open it up and see what we got. What can I do? Anything? You're doing just fine. <laughs> Anxious to see this pot. I know. See me what, too. What did to it. This is cool. <laughs> When we first Hi, Doug. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Darnell's mom. <laughs> when we first started talking Until about I this, all this out, I but... <laughs> won't. I won't. You know I won't. Um, he's like, well, send me a flower pot, and we'll go from there. I'm uh -huh. like, what are you going to do to a flower pot? Like, okay. Let's let you work your magic. So I am very excited to see what he's done. I know you can't see much. I apologize for that. You probably can't even see. Yeah, nothing really. Top of the box. All right, we're getting got close. It Just about got it open. Yep. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, wait, hang on a second. My address and all that's right there. So let's just flip it this way. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, let's see this pot. <laughs> okay, so we've got the top off. Haven't looked in here yet. Ooh. What side was it that was banged up? Was this corner, can you tell? Well, it's not even... this corner. Oh, it was this one. Mm -hmm. You can't even tell now. Oh, good deal. Quite fine. Oh yeah, it's fine. I can see the top of it. Everything's intact. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And there is the USB that's got his side of the video on it. Okay, I'm going to pull this and I want you to pull the box out, okay? Sure. Oh. You got it? Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's see if I'm in frame. Yes, I am. Oh, that looks good. Duggar, oh, this like is it. beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. Mm -hmm. He did an amazing thing. And I know that he has molds that he, um, yeah, you can just throw that anywhere. Um, molds that he makes these um, wings. I've seen um, a Christmas ornament that he did with mm. this. Just stunning. I'm going to get me one. Is there anything on the other side? Nope, yep. just plain. Yep. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, My no. goodness, I like that. That is amazing. Isn't that, though? Wow. Wow, that's super mm. cool. Yeah, so it looks like um, each one of these letters, he's made out of resin, mm. um, swirled in the paint. I was trying to see mm -hmm. if, yep, he's got it swirled in there. That is cool. And then has resin them on the pot. You can't even see the resin. Great job, Doug. And here he's got these resin on as well. He's got the colors to match up nice. Looks like this uh, iridescent. Actually, all the colors are in there. That's that's crazy. And it's also got the iridescent sheen on it. Wow. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. it. Looks cool. 
Can and this is my part. You <laughs> can do one for you anytime. <laughs> All right. I'm sure he's going to hear that. <laughs> Hopefully you can see this okay. Mm, looks good. There's the bottom. Mm. Oh, he signed it. Oh, he did. Love it. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yes. Oh, wow. Cool beans, Doug. And I love the added touch of faith on the front. So go check out Duger's channel and subscribe to my friend. He is um, brave and has dived into resin projects. And wow, he has shown his creative side there for sure. Um, this flower pot being prime example. So I want to thank you, Doug, for the collab and for the great friendship that came about from it. You have amazing talent and keep doing what you're doing over there. And to the rest of you, thanks for watching. And I want to say goodbye to you, too, because I think that you did an amazing job, and I like what you did. Yep, he did, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yep. this, this is Darnell's mama signing off. <laughs> Mom out. <laughs> thanks again. Bye.